In this work, we present a simple method for conditioning robot imitation learning policies on freeform natural language instructions. How can we scale up robot learning to everyday settings? Recent work is focused on scaling up multitask control, moving from robots that learn individual skills to ones that learn many. Additionally, many have focused on more scalable perception, moving from instrumented setups to robots that learn directly from onboard sensors. Another important but less studied direction is how to scalably specify tasks. What is the most natural way for untrained users in everyday settings to guide all of these learned robot behaviors? This motivates robots that are capable of following free-form natural language instructions. In this work, we introduce a simple and scalable imitation learning framework that pushes on all three of these directions. Traditionally, learning multiple skills with imitation involves large numbers of curated demonstrations for each task and mechanisms like one-hot task IDs at test time. Unfortunately, when scaling up to a large number of skills, these collection requirements are often too expensive and this conditioning too inflexible. Instead, we build on recent work, which learns many skills at once using relabeled imitation learning over a large unstructured collection of human teleoperated play data. This kind of collection contains many rich behaviors and is easy to scale, as data can be collected continuously without any resets or task labels. However, relabeled learning also means that behavior at test time must be conditioned with a goal image. Goal images might be easy to provide in simulation, but are often impractical to provide in more open world settings. This motivates the main questions of this work. How can we learn many useful behaviors from unstructured data? And how can we condition these behaviors on things like freeform natural language? To address this, we introduce our approach, which consists of three main steps. First, we pair random robot experiences from a large offline play data set with crowdsourced language after the fact. Next, we train a single policy to reach both hindsight image and language goals using simple imitation learning. Finally, at test time, we condition the policy only on freeform language. We now describe each of these steps in detail. First, we describe our data collection. We collect seven hours of unstructured teleoperated play, covering many useful behaviors in the environment. Next, we mine all one to two second windows and perform hindsight image relabeling. At the same time, we take less than 1% of these random windows and show them to crowdsourced annotators, asking them, what instruction would you have given the robot to get it to perform the behavior you just saw in the video? Mind demonstrations include meaningful tasks like open the door, but also more general purpose behaviors like move your arm slightly to the left. In this way, we obtain two demonstration datasets, one with demonstrations solving for goal images, the other with demonstrations solving for natural language instructions. Now that we have two datasets, one with goal images, the other with language, how can we train a single policy to follow either goal? To do this, we introduce multi-context imitation learning. Rather than train one policy per dataset, we instead train a single latent goal conditioned policy over both datasets simultaneously, with learned encoders mapping goal images and language to the same shared goal space. Critically, this shared training scheme allows us to reduce the cost of language annotation to less than 1% of collected robot data. The overall network learns perception from pixels, language understanding, and continuous control as a single neural network, and is trained fully end-to-end -end with a simple standard imitation loss. At test time, we only use text conditioning. A human enters free-form natural language instructions, and the learned visual motor policy executes the instructions in closed loop. Here's an example of a human typing free-form commands at test time to our agent. We evaluate our models on over 900 long-horizon visual manipulation tasks, covering 18 task families. We see that our more flexible text condition models can achieve the same performance as prior work, which requires goal images, with less than 1% language annotation. Additionally, we see that despite training on unstructured demonstration datasets with no task labels, our method outperforms baselines trained on conventional multitask demonstrations. This remains true even when the unstructured data, which has a much higher collection throughput, is restricted to the same size. Finally, we find that simply by combining our method with large pre-trained language models, our agent is able to follow thousands of new synonym instructions at test time in zero shot, without requiring any new demonstrations. Here are some examples of our agent following zero shot instructions in 16 different languages. If you'd like to learn more about this work, feel free to check out our paper or project page. Thanks for watching.